Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. Lift those hands toward heaven one more time. There's been a shift in the spirit. When God's servant was speaking, there was a, a realm he hid in the heavens. And I sensed those ancient rivers, those ancient fires that came upon me many years ago. You see, there are different realms in prayer. There's a realm you get to in prayer that your ordinations open. Those are heights in the spirit where God makes you what he predetermined in his heart for you to be before the foundations of the world that was where he met with jeremiah and he said before you were formed in your mother's womb i knew you i ordained you to be a prophet to the nations when you find people begin to manifest and their generation come to them to drink know that their scrolls have been read to them what is coming out of their spirit are rivers of living waters ancient fountains that flow from god through them to their generation and those heights there are things that occasion them one of it are the altars of prayer there are flames that open your heart until those connections happen in the spirit ah. when he was speaking I started sensing those movements. Those of you that God will take back to the altar, you will not come out until your horn begins to grow. He <laughs> said, My horn has thou exalted like the horn of the unicorn because you have anointed me with a fresh oil. Every time horns grow, fresh oils are released. And there's a river that is about to begin to flow. Can you lift your hands one more time and make commitment? Every resistance that is standing on the way, place it on the altar. God said a lot of things tonight. You may need to listen to it again to get it. Oh, when he read from Ezra, chapter 8, verse 21 to 23. They had boasted in the Lord. But it was time to prove what they claimed. And they said they were ashamed. How can we go back to the king when we have told him our God is able? Some of us, that is where we are. Those, that, those are the places where the journeys began. How can you go back? You have told the, everybody that our God kill it and make it alive. Now, there is a challenge before you and you need those challenges surmounted and it looks as if what you said was a lie how can you go back when you have declared that our god heals but now there is a crisis and even doctors have given up how can you go back the guy legitimately was ashamed not because of pride but because of the integrity of his god i have said this is what our god said how can we go back but the bible said they looked up to him and their faces were radiant and they were not ashamed apart from the fact that ordinations will be born some of you the things that are confronting your faith and trying to make a mockery of your faith they are about to go down this is why god is taking you back to the altar people are dying but you say our god saves when the people ask questions what does the priest do he goes to bind himself to the altar this is why this fire is coming. For some of us, ordination is about to be born. And for some of us, the things that confront and challenge our faith. 
and make it look as if we are just excited fanatics those things are about to crumble you are in a nation where god told you he has given you the nation whereas you are about to be ejected because you don't have papers it looks as if all you said was a lie the altar is about to begin to speak can we lift those hands one more time everything that fights your place on the altar ask for grace tonight to submit those things <laughs> me i'm about to go on another journey because when he was talking i saw i saw that a new face a new era is about to be born oh my god the old flames are about to be cast away new witness is about to emerge the world has not seen anything a new species a new generation is about to emerge oh i came by prayer i will stay in prayer to the Lord now and allow those rivers to flow the woman asked the question she said how shall these things be he said that's not the problem the Holy Ghost shall come upon you the power of the highest shall overshadow you and that which shall be formed in you shall be called the son of the highest the Holy Ghost shall come upon you every question that confronts your faith God is about to put them aside. It's important for you to know immediate action points. Some of you need to make very quick decisions. Though. For some of you here that don't use your phone, the next is the secret part that you will find with God. And it's my prayer that God will help you. It's my prayer that God will help us. Do you know what? What is, is sounding in my spirit? Ah. Those of you who are sisters, just put your hand on your on your tummy. I'm seeing something like a a fire. These ones are priestesses of the altar. If I go like this, it may not something need to come on you. Those of you who are sisters here, they are praying women that needs to emerge. They are praying women women that hold hands together and give birth to dimensions i won't force it i won't hit it so hard but i saw it they are praying women help those of them i think about three of them who will come under a strong influence just bring them to the altar wherever they are standing even those connected online you are a woman here there's a fire that is about to be activated in your spirit you are a woman here there's something particularly for those of us who are priestesses of the altar priestesses priestesses of the altar priestesses of the altar where are the women that pray 
He said, women brought their dead back to life. There was something he said. He said, when a woman is at the point of delivery, two things are possible. It's either somebody dies or a new life is added to an old one. So every point of delivery is a point of death and it's also a point of life. That's why when a woman gives birth, they say she's delivered. They don't say she has delivered the baby. They say she's delivered of a baby. It's a journey through death. And many of us, if we don't travel, our destinies will die. There are dimensions of God that has been wielded to us. You will know, but it will die. That's why we must push. Because if Zion does not travel, she will never bring forth. That grace for leadership, that grace for governance, that grace to be a voice to nations, that grace to, to sponsor kingdom agenda, that grace to be a watcher, that grace if prayer is not added, there will be still birth. And if there's no still birth, then even the mother can die. Thank you, Father. We can't go beyond here. There's a young man here. You have been praying for at least seven years for the nations. Ask of me, I will give you the hidden and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. The hidden for thy inheritance, the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. You have been praying about it for all at least seven years. That's what God is telling me now. That there's a young man here. He's about to deliver to you what you have been praying for. But see, there's a problem. You have not you have not learned how to build momentum so you have just been praying and strolling praying and the, this prayer you build up until it climaxes then you explode he said your problem is that energy to bring forth when you reach there you go down you start again you reach there you go down but there's a grace that is about to come upon you this one will help you to push it will help you to push because nations are about to be delivered to you father whoever that one is help them please whoever that one is that has made demand for nations for nations the power over nations take that power now I would have said let's clap, but it is a sober moment. Go home with the body. 
and incubate on it. Sit down for a moment as we close. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.